Hi, I'm Mary Kling. I'm your student's Cocalico High School chemistry teacher this semester. Welcome to our back to school night. In this relatively short video, I'd like to talk to you about a few things. I want to introduce the idea about what chemistry is and how I'm going to teach it. I'd like to share with you some of the assignments that your students will have, how I assess those, I also want to give you the expectations with this new hybrid schedule and talk about grading and really importantly, how your student can get extra help if they need it. Chemistry is a physical science. We are studying the physical world around us. In particular, chemistry is the study of matter, the changes that matter undergoes, and the energy that is associated with those changes. In chemistry, we study matter at the very smallest particle level. As such, we try to build a conceptual model so that we can understand the things that we cannot see. When I teach this, I use a concept called ABC, which is activity before content. We do a lab or an investigation. We take a look at the results of the investigation and we try to explain that using a particle model. I often call chemistry the attention to detail science because the things that we are trying to explain are the very tiny details of matter. As you can imagine, with the lab being the central part of our learning experience, working in the hybrid is gonna be a bit of a challenge for us. That's why I'm going to give you some ideas of the expectations that I have and the way I envision this semester working. This is a work in progress and I appreciate everybody being flexible. I'll be flexible with your children. I hope that you are flexible with me. This is a learning experience. While your children are here at school, we're going to need them to participate actively in what we're doing in the classroom. When we are doing our lab investigations, it's imperative that they are careful and they take as accurate measurements as they can but more importantly, that they ask the questions that they have while they are in that environment. The whole idea behind science is that we want to answer questions that we have. We can't answer questions if we don't ask them. While your children are at home in the virtual environment, that's gonna be the biggest challenge. I found that was one of my biggest challenges when I was home in the spring. Some of the things that I'm doing to try to help your children to stay on a schedule is my first and foremost expectation is that they are going to log into the Google Meet at the beginning of every class period. That way I can touch base with them. I hope that they're still on a routine. I can tell them what we're gonna be doing for the day rather than just having them go off on their own and not really having any idea if they're doing things correctly or not. With the Google Meet, I try to work as much as I can with the students at home as I do in the classroom. I do a fair amount of question and answering, calling on students at home, asking them to do things like draw graphs or draw images or show their work. And I will ask them to hold that up to the computer so that I can check it sometimes when they're at home. When they're here in the classroom, I certainly walk around and make suggestions, and it is kind of a juggling act for us right now. Because I can't see what every student is doing at home, I typically ask them to drop their assignment for the day in a Dropbox. When the assignments come in, you're going to notice one of three codes. Complete means or collected means that the assignment has been submitted and it meets the requirements. It's what I'm expecting. It may not be perfect, but they're on the right track. If an assignment is turned in and it is coded as incomplete, there will be a comment in PowerSchool giving some idea as to what needs to be done. If it is listed as incomplete, that means that they turned something in, but I'm seeing something that really needs to be addressed before they continue working. And if the assignment is missing, then I have nothing to go by. I can't give them any feedback. And that's just as bad. Actually, it's worse because I don't know where they might be struggling. So 
it is really important that they stay on top of the work even when they're not in the classroom. Trying to manage all of the assignments gets to be a little bit overwhelming. And sometimes students will message me and say, I turned this in, it still says that it's incomplete or it's missing. And I'm trying to stay on top of that, I really am. Um, please know that those assignments typically are not graded because those are formative assessments. My idea with the formative assessments, either at home or at school, is that's my opportunity to give them feedback so that they know how they're doing on something and that they can make corrections before we get to a formal assessment. The formal assessments that I give are going to be lab reports or some portion of a lab, um, tests and quizzes, and that's pretty much it. Um, and the reason that I do it that way is because this is really kind of a new idea for students and we are constructing this model. So I don't want to grade many assignments without having the opportunity to give them feedback. So that brings me to what do we do if we're having trouble, if we're struggling? In this hybrid environment, communication is really critical and that's the piece that we are kind of lacking, we're missing out on. When I'm in the classroom, I know it's difficult for me to read expressions and engagements because the masks are on. I can't always see those little facial tick things that are going on that might say, yeah, I get it, or I have no idea what's going on. When they're on the other side of a computer screen with the camera off, I really don't have much to go by. So the communication piece is the one that we're gonna to have to work on the most. Um, I don't have all the answers. That's why this is a work in progress. That's why I need grace and that's why I will give your children grace because this is what we need right now. But as a parent, one of the things you can do is you can encourage your child to talk with me or to send an email. If you feel that you need to send an email, that's perfectly fine. I will get back with you within 24 hours unless it's the weekend. And I do that for my own sanity because I need to kind of make sure that I'm taking care of me, just like you need to take care of you and your children need to take care of themselves. As I wrap up this video, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to visit, to see what's going on and encourage you. If you have any questions, if there's anything that you need, please contact us. I'm here to help you. The administration is here to help you. We want to make this a very successful semester and year for your student. Have a great day.